So we're back and we finally got the parts in. Not in, but we already had them in, but we finally got the new ball joints pressed in. So now we can go ahead and start taking apart the stuff over here and get this done. So we're gonna go ahead and start recording this stuff for you guys so you can guys see what we're doing. Lower control arm install along with new uh, ball joints. Cause my ball joints are bad, so. Cute montage. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be removing, wait, no, not that, <laughs> we need that. <sighs> we will be removing this bolt, these bolts, and the bolts back there, which is kind of hard to see, uh, right here, so we can remove the lower control arm and replace it with the new one. content to show you guys what exactly we did but after getting the arms on this is what it looks like with a straight wheel it is really bowed out so what we ended up doing just to give you guys some kind of content as you guys can see I straighten this wheel out by coming underneath and extending the tie rod it's kind of hard to see as you see, this is where it started, where the nut is. Somehow I gotta figure out to, how to tighten this nut without moving the arm anymore. So if I can tighten this nut back up, I will have straightened out my tire, which is exactly the problem I'm currently having at the moment with this one. So what I'll attempt to do guys is uh, show you guys a video of what I'm doing on this side. Okay. to see if you guys can see any kind of progress and change of what I've done as far as the camber I'm not camber but the uh, toe so that's just something you guys should keep a lookout for and if you guys end up do doing this um, and do do this make sure you do take the clamp off of the boot otherwise you will tear the boot trying to twist the tie rod into a certain place but end result regardless will require a an alignment and as you guys can see these bolts don't fit right so we have the right uh, uh, tension rod coming in with from GK Tech the one that is gonna mount up properly these uh, don't these do mount up nicely the problem is is the bolts do not match up with the length of the 
screw nut or whatever you want to call it on the other side so we had to flip them upside down to keep them tight so I'll try to go and get you guys some content on this wheel so you guys can see exactly what we did this video I went ahead and already installed it if you guys are on the R33 page you guys know that I already said that I didn't have I didn't feel like videotaping the content for you guys so I just went ahead and did it myself along with the help of Jared but we got it done it was the tension rods from GK Tech as well um, so I went ahead and did it it brought the wheel more center than it is Actually, it's gonna be a little dark but here is the new tension rod going to the control arm for the big hot boy control arm and everything is in there and tightened to a spec so our final problem that we're doing gonna have to deal with tie rods because my tie rods don't extend far enough like they're supposed to which gives us this awkward outward toe on both sides if you guys notice I am wearing a forbidden Kings hat that we got created if you guys like it do leave a comment down below also like comment on what you guys thought about the whole install and the craziness subscribe and stay tuned for the next video as that will be our tie rod and our own personal alignment ourselves concerned that now everything now that I'm understanding everything that is going on here I can do a self alignment at the time until I can go get me my professional alignment. But until that time, always stay tuned and we're going to have a surprise for you guys for the next video when we come out. So hopefully we can go ahead and do some giveaways for that. We'll see you guys next time.